My name's Chad. Um, I'm, I'm your visiting artist today, and I am going to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I'm an artist, I'm a songwriter, and I'm a writer as well, a poet. And uh, so I have a book as well. So we're going to, going to uh, talk a little bit about that today. But first, I'm going to tell you a little bit how I got started. I was about your age. How old are you? I was six years old. That's exactly you look six. When I was six years old, I said, I'm pretty good at this drawing thing. I think I want to do art. So I started to take every class I could. I learned how to play with clay, paint, draw, anything I could do. And I was going to be a teacher of art. So I went to college. I learned all that. But during college, for learning how to do clay, really well. I picked up one of these for the first time. What is this? A guitar. It, no, it's a tuba. No, it's not. You are right. It's a guitar. And I picked it up and I didn't know how to play it yet. I was only, I was 19 years old and I first picked up a guitar and I thought maybe I could learn. And I did. I, would, I practiced. But first it sounded like this. I was like, it did not sound very good. I was like, rock on. Let's just keep practicing. Right, so I practiced and practiced, and eventually I could strum a good chord, right? That sounds better, right? Well, then I'd change chords. I could, I could do that with my left hand. I thought, what if I did some more with this hand? So I started to learn how to finger pick, and I could do... That's when I learned I could do a lot of different things with my hands if I just, what? practiced if I just practiced otherwise it would just sound like <laughs> forever right so I practiced and practiced and then I started to do this full time I started to write songs I started to play them across the country but I started to miss the art so I thought how can I put these together so I put them into a book so next to the book I could paint, paint a painting, and these are really big paintings. They're like four-foot-tall paintings that I painted. And next to them would be the lyrics to the song that I wrote. And I could put a CD out with the book. So that's why I'm going to share a few with these. You guys want to hear a few? All right, good. I'm glad, because otherwise I didn't know what I was going to do. This is going to be, let's do this one right here. Can you guys see that one? All right, if you can, it's the cover of the book. This first one is called... Deep Woods Jam. Now I wrote this song. I was inspired taking out the stinky garbage. <laughs> I was dragging it to the curb and flies were everywhere and I heard music way off in the distance. And I thought, what could it be? It got louder and louder. Turns out it was just a car stereo. But I thought, what if I was your age again, and I followed that music deep into the woods, and this is what I found. What do you guys see in this picture? What do you see? What do you see? Can you see it from there? They're having a fun a campfire, the bears and a bunch of forest animals. What are they doing around the fire? Do you see what they have in their hands? There's no marshmallows, but they should, right? I love marshmallows. It's getting fun. They're playing music, right? And when you jam out in music, sometimes you bring your instruments and you try and play, and sometimes you're just learning and it's okay. That's kind of how I learned to play. I learned how to play by practicing with other people that knew how to play. So let's play this one, but first I got to bring in my, my band here. <laughs> Anybody know what this is? I think it works. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? What is that? Harmonica with a brace on it and everything, right? So I don't have to hold it. So usually you hear him going like You hear a guy's holding it like this. We don't have the brace. Right? I can't do that while I'm playing the guitar. So, You guys can help me, though. You guys can jam out with me. You can clap along whenever I play this harmonica. Not when I'm playing the guitar, but 
when I'm playing the harmonica, you got to practice? OK. It goes like this. Oh, you're good. You're good. OK, let's try. Oh, that's perfect. You're the best band I've worked with ever. OK, here we go. Let's do it again. If you go outside tonight, oh. if you go to the edge of the yard, over the hill, if you stand still, you can hear it if you listen real hard. There's music from somewhere out there, somewhere out deep in the pines. If you follow the sound way out from the town, here's what you might find. What do you think you're going to find? Muskrats on guitar. Wolves on the washtub bass, fox on the fiddle singing hey diddle diddle, or bears banging on an old suitcase, a raccoon ripping on a reel, old owls hooting fast as you can, where all the birds sing like the first day of spring, you stumbled on the deep woods jam, ready to clap, here we go. Slapping his tail, coyote hits the old cowbell. A field mouse squeaks on a bucket that leaks, while a turtle taps along on his shell. Tell me, what are you gonna play? The reeds or the old tin can? <laughs> you can take your pick. Start real quick. All's welcome at the deep woods jam. Ready to rock out? Ready? One, two, ready, go! Guys are good. Give yourselves a round of applause. Yay. <laughs> Best band ever. All right. Now I'm going to sing a song about tree houses. I never had a tree house when I was a kid. I always wanted one. We had a tree in our yard. It was in our backyard and it went like this. <laughs> like that. It had one little branch off that side and I'd put a board up there and I'd just climb up that and I'd sit in that board and I'd say this is my tree house. <laughs> I imagined a tree house. Part of the best thing about being an artist and a songwriter is you can make up your own things like a tree house. I imagine myself sitting in a tree house filled with animals. It's kind of hard to see because you guys are such a good big group here. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about my treehouse. Well, I'm going to sing about it, okay? You guys are going to help me out, though. It's really easy because it's the chorus is the same line three times, right? And it goes like this. See, my friend had, I'm going to tell you a little bit of why I did this song. Because when I was a kid, I'd go and visit my friend's house. And he had a treehouse. And I, we would stay up really late, and we'd tell all these scary stories. And then I was scared of the dark as a kid, and I'd sit there, and he'd be fast asleep, and we just got done telling all these scary stories, and he'd be snoring. And I was like, I'd nudge him, and he'd go, yeah? And I'd say, Chris, Chris, it's, it's kind of cold, isn't it? It would be as hot as it was out there, I'd say kind of cold and he's like all right yeah I guess it's kind of cold he wasn't cold at all was he you know what he did he said we could go inside and he never made fun of me for being scared isn't that a good friend 
We don't make fun of our friends when they're scared of something. We're really nice. And he never told anybody, never made fun of me in front of my other friends. And uh, that's a good friend. We got to be good friends to each other, right? Okay, let's learn the song. It goes like this. I'm building a tree house in my backyard. And I just say the same thing again. I'm building a tree house in my backyard. And I say it what? One more time. I'm building a tree house in my backyard. And then I say, won't you come play with me? Okay, you guys want to try it together? All right, ready? Goes like this. I'm building a tree house in my backyard. Louder. I'm building a tree house. Good job. In my backyard. Good job. I'm building a tree house in my backyard. Won't you come play with me? Perfect. All right. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit, and then we'll sing it together again. Ready? It'll hold nine dogs, 33 cats, 55 bullfrogs, 27 bats. Whoa. 95 butterflies be flying through the air or oh, maybe just one grizzly bear sing with me ready i'm building a tree in my backyard i'm building a tree house in my backyard i'm building a tree house in my backyard won't you come play with me? You guys are good. That's awesome. If my mom says it's all right, maybe I can stay the night. Chris, I'll bring my slipping, sleeping bag. I'll zip it up real tight. We'll stay up really late telling tales about ghosts. Because oh, those are the tales we like the most. Ready? I'm building a tree house in my backyard. I'm building a tree house in my backyard. I'm building a tree house in my backyard. Won't you come play with me? And if one of us gets scared, we'll both go inside. You know, we don't have to be embarrassed at each other's side. Cause you are the best friend <laughs> anyone could find. I've got your back and you got mine. Everybody, one more time, ready? I'm building a house in my backyard. I'm building a tree house in my backyard. Building a tree house in my backyard. Won't you come play with me? Oh, give yourselves a round of applause. We got a soloist over here. That is awesome. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to need your help for this one. I need ideas for your favorite foods. Now, I'm going to pick one right now, and then we're going to get other ideas. But I'll give you an example of what I'm going to do right now, okay? You have a favorite food? What's your name? Lilac is going to give us the first example, and I'm going to get other ideas. And what I have to do is you're going to give me foods. She said pizza. And I have to rhyme with that. Now, I make a lot of mistakes doing this. So you guys can stump me. So it goes like this. I like pizza. I like pizza. Don't give me a little. Give me a lot. Heck, I'll eat a, eat a whole pizza. Ah, I love my pizza. I love mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. When I put it in a bowl, it goes down with such ease. Oh, my mac and cheese, my mac and cheese. Yeah. Banana. I love 
bananas. I love bananas. When someone takes it away from me, I cry like a baby. Wow, wow. <laughs> I love, love my banana. I love candy. I love candy. I take it to the beach and sometimes it falls from my hand and it gets all sandy, but I still eat my candy. <laughs> I love my candy. I love it. I love meatballs. I love meatballs. Some people can't eat the whole thing, but I eat it all. Oh, I love my meatballs. Yeah. Steak. All right. I love steak. I love steak. I like it medium rare. Heck, I'll even eat it if it falls in a lake. <laughs> I love my steak. I love broccoli. I really do. I love broccoli. It's good for you, too. I love broccoli. You can give me just a little, but I prefer a lot of the uh, broccoli. <laughs> I didn't have a good rhyme for that. What's a good rhyme for broccoli? Anybody? Chocolatey. Ooh, chocolatey. Oh, that's a good one. Next time, I want to use that. <laughs> I love ice cream. I love ice cream. Not a day goes by where I don't sit at a window and daydream of ice cream. <laughs> oh, I love my my ice cream. Yeah. What's your favorite? I love hot dogs. I love hot dogs. Don't call it a picnic if I can't sit on a log and eat a hot dog. <laughs> I love hot dogs. Get a couple more here. Yeah. In the blue shirt. Yeah. Oh, Scabetti, I love it. Scabetti, that's my one of my favorites, too. I love Scabetti. Oh, man, I love Scabetti. Sometimes I sit there like it's my birthday party, and I throw it like confetti. Oh, I love Scabetti. I love Scabetti. I love grilled cheese. I love grilled cheese. After I ate one, I said, more please. I love my grilled cheese. One more, one more. Who haven't I called on? Yes, young gentleman right there in the striped shirt. Yeah. I was just glad you didn't say orange. I love french fries. I love french fries. I came here to tell the truth. I ain't telling you no lies. I love my little french fries. Oh, you guys are good sports. All right. I'm going to play a little melody that I wrote for my daughter. She is six, uh, she's eight almost now. She's seven right now. She's eight. But when I wrote it, she was about three years old. This is, a, this is a little poem I wrote for my daughter, and I actually turned it into a lullaby. And uh, anybody here have dreams of flying? Oh, me too. Sometimes I don't want to wake up from those. I want to just keep flying. This girl is dreaming of flying. She's flying to the moon. All right. Now, you can rock to this one, because it's a good rocking song, but don't fall asleep. Because we're going to pick it up. The next one, I'm going to have a couple of uh, volunteers for the next one. All right. It goes like this. Imagine you're going to bed, and this is a song. This is, what, this is a lullaby, but don't fall asleep. You, sir. <laughs> I 
Every night I dream I can fly Out the window of my bedroom While everyone sleeps in their beds I'll be halfway up to the moon And I'll dance with the evening stars I'll sing the town a lullaby tune As I drift as far as the blue Milky Way I'm as light as a midnight balloon It's not hard to imagine For this trip there's no need to pack Only part of myself goes drifting through the clouds up to the moon and back Some other turn out the nightlight Give me my good night kiss Read my bedtime stories as fast as you can So I can take one more trip Cause every night I dream I can fly out the window of my bedroom while everyone sleeps in their beds is anybody asleep yet i'll be halfway up to the moon yes tonight i will dance on the moon okay clap if you're awake oh good oh. Whew. I was a little worried there all right, I need a couple volunteers here. We got you. Come on up here. Come on up here. We got one here. And you've been sitting patiently. Come on up here. Come on. Yeah. Autumn and Everly are going to be. Okay, go ahead. Do you guys like, know how to make a monkey sound? How do you make a monkey sound? Make it really loud. Ready? I'm going to point at you. Yes, that is exactly it. And when I point at you, both of you make that noise really loud, okay? Now you guys are going to sing about your favorite food over here who said bananas. Who said banana? This is a really easy thing to sing along to because it's one word. What is the word? Bananas. All right. Now I apologize to any parents or adults in this room. You're going to hear this the rest of the day <laughs> in your head. Because it's one word and it just goes like this. Easy enough, right? And then I'm going to point at you. Yes. And then we go. Nah, nah, nah. Easy enough, right? Okay. What was your name again? Everly and Autumn. Okay. Can I use your names in the song? Okay. Right. And you can feel free to get really monkey up. Just do the... <laughs> Two little girls named Everly and Autumn were swinging from a tree. Till they swung into a tree that belonged to a monkey family. Oh, and the monkeys had bananas. Oh, they wanted one too. So they asked the monkeys, hey, could I get a banana from you? What'd they say? They sang banana 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 Everly and Autumn, they were still hungry, so they asked, please again. The monkeys, they started to feel a little sorry for them. <laughs> so they gave them just one more chance to get a banana off their hands. In a tree swing and competition is what they planned. What were they singing? They were singing, banana, 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 banana. Where's my singers? Banana, banana. Yes, banana, 
Well, the monkeys, they had no idea just who they had to be. Before they knew it, Everly and Autumn were up off their feet. Well, they swung them high and they swung them low and they never even had to touch their toes until they hit the ground and the monkeys knew they'd been beat. The monkeys were singing really sad. They were singing. Na, na, na. That's so sad face right there. Na, na, na. Where's my monkeys? Oh, there it is. Well, the monkeys, they said, girls, you sure can swing. Before you leave, could you tell us just one little thing? How did two little girls like you learn that topsy-turvy too? And Autumn, she just smiled. Everly gave a wink, grabbed a banana, and they said, what did they say? Give them a big round of applause. Thank you, guys. Go ahead. All right, we got time for one more song. But if you guys have any questions, I'll take the questions now, and then we can rock out the last song. Yeah. You have a question? Yeah. You have a question? That's a good question. You see, he asked how many strings are on the guitar. I heard that. Pasta. Don't give me a little. Give me a lots of pasta. <laughs> he asked how many strings are on this guitar, and he, there are six on this one, but like a bass guitar has usually four strings, and uh, different guitars have different numbers, but usually it's a six-string guitar. Good question. Yeah. Um, he asked if I was a professional singer. Yeah, I suppose I am. Yep. I do this. I've been doing it for 20 years now, so... If I'm not professional by now, I might as well give it up, right? <laughs> yeah, I do this full time. I tour, I play shows for my job. Yeah. Thank you for asking. Anybody? Any others? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yes. For three dollars. No, I'm joking. Yes, of course. Yes. Any other questions? You have a question? Did you ask what metal was made of? Really loud guitars and screaming. Oh, that's metal music. I don't know the science stuff very well. Do you know what metal's made of? What is it? Water and water. I bet it is. I don't know. We'll have to look it up, maybe. What is metal made of? You can learn that in chemistry, I'm sure. Any other questions? You have a question? That's, there's no question about tacos. Don't. I like tacos. I like tacos. I like them when I'm sitting. I like them laying down. I even like them when I'm taking a walk -o. Oh, <laughs> I love my, my tacos. I love chips too. Something about every time they cross my lips, I love my chips. Anybody else? Yeah, you have a question? Or are these foods? You guys like the food song. I like this. Oh, I do love mac and cheese. I don't think that, oh, we're going to start the last song here. here. But first, I'm, I love mac and cheese. I love mac and cheese. What should I already see? I said goes down with such ease. I always ask please. And I lost my keys. <laughs> All right. You guys have been awesome. We're going to do one more song and then call it a day. Thank you so much. Parents, if you're interested in books or CDs, I do have them up here. Uh, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this one with a train song. You guys want to hear a train song?
This one I play at other shows, not just my kids' shows, but I play other shows all over. And this one I like to do because it's, I get a full band sometimes rocking out to this song. But right now, you guys are going to be in my band. Every time I play this, what will you do? Clap along. Ready? <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys.